Hello there, KDH of Avalon here, with more Let's Blindly Play Super Metroid. As you may remember, last time I was completely stuck, having absolutely no idea what to do. In fact, I even asked for hints in the comments in the, the video description, but uh, nobody provided them, so I waited. But I got tired of that, clearly. So here I am, and I have looked up a move list. I wanted to keep it as pure as possible for a blind run, so I didn't look through a guide to see where to go next. So this might wind up a very short episode with me ending again asking for more hints, because I don't know if this is actually what I need to do. So let's find out. I gotta get back to an area that I have, that I spent a lot of the previous episode in, looking for uh, where to go next, and being frustrated with sand. So, let's see, I guess I'll just go this way, thank you for grabbing me. Not really, at least it doesn't hurt me. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I don't need anything from those guys. I got full health in that last room. Well, in the very long room. Let's, uh, see, this way, yeah. I remember where I'm going now. To a vertical shaft. I hope that what I... found is going to work, but I don't think it is, unfortunately. Now let's go over here, kill this guy, okay. That wasn't so bad. The bad part is coming. In the room full of sand. Uh, that really bugs me. Boom. Alright. I believe it's to the right that I need to go, not the left, because I couldn't find anything at all that I could actually do in the left area. And I think I sort of figured out how to move properly in this area, too. Not really, but slightly. It's not taking me five minutes to get through the rooms anymore, which is good. Alright, now this is the room that I think I need to be in. Let's uh, get rid of that and try to get up through the hole that it just created in the ceiling. Uh, I almost had it there. Come on. Jump. Nope, not quite. There we go. Now... Let's try this, no? I thought I was supposed to be able to wall jump like that, but apparently not. Maybe it requires something I don't have yet. It didn't say it required anything special on the list, so I don't know. Maybe you just can't do it from in water, or something like that. Hmm. Well, now I'm lost again, and this is probably going to end up like the previous attempt of recording this episode with me deciding to scrap it. Because I don't know what to actually do. So... I spent 40 minutes last time just trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. Oh, I can do it. I just don't No, I can do it. Okay, so I'm not wasting time. Well, I am wasting time, but I figured it out. Okay, so I need to spin into the wall and as soon as that... No, come on. Come on. C 
Come on. Nope. Need to spin. Spin. Spin, Samus. Spin. And... I need to work on my timing. Come on. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay, so at least this was not a waste of time. I've got that, at least. Come on. What? 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 No, not quite. Pay attention. Wow, this requires very precise timing. I have never seen something that requires so precise timing before. Well, maybe a fighting game, but other than that... No! Come on! Come on! Wow. Okay. Maybe I should just meet you at the top. That's seeming like a better idea every time I fail. Wow. Come on. Maybe this would be easier if I could use an actual Super Nintendo controller, but I don't see how. Come on. Come on. One more... semi-successful attempt, and then I'll meet you at the top. Nope. Come on. Come on, Samus. This is... really stupid. Why do you require this timing to be so precise, game? Okay, I will meet you at the top. One, nope. One, nope. One, two, th nope. One, two, th nope. One, nope. One, two, three, four, five, nope. One, nope. One, nope. One, nope. One, two, three, four, f uh, nope. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! I made it. These guys knocked me down about 30 times, and it took me nearly 20 minutes just to get up here. So, <laughs> and it looks like I'm on the wrong side, so hopefully I can make this jump without falling down, or this is going to be a monumental waste of time. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how annoying that was for me. Okay. So, this breaks. All right, and I'm at that door that I could not find a way to get to. So, somewhere new at last. And I gotta shoot this guy in the wheels, it looks like. And, oh good. Is this a waste of time? No, power bombs work. Thank you. But, sand? A wall of sand. Power bombing doesn't do anything to it, does it? No. Uh, what? Missiles. Super missiles. Power bombs I already know do nothing. Uh, I wasted all that time just to find out I cannot go this way yet. Unless speed boosting does it, but there's not enough room to start it from over here. Well, this was worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. 20 minutes trying to wall jump up that wall. Please tell me wall jumping is never, ever used in this game again because I never want to do it again. My hands hurt. Now I have to find where I'm really supposed to go. Unless I am really supposed to go there. 
But I just can't see that. You just... No. No. I don't want to do that again. I don't kill this guy. I do not kill this guy. But power bombs are gonna kill him, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. This guy is going to destroy this. Yes! It was not a waste of time. Thank you, game. Okay, let's follow him. Not exactly what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Okay, where is this leading me? I am so glad I decided to go back in here and try this before leaving this area, because that would have just been really, really sad. Uh, I'm not ready to kill that guy yet, because I don't know... Okay, I can kill him. Or I can just ignore him and everything else in this room to get in here, which leads me where? down holes to a power-up. What power-up is this? Is it something worthwhile? Because if it isn't, I'm still going to be sad that I wasted so much time trying to do that. I even tried changing to a different controller, but that didn't help. Okay, Spring Ball. Isn't that the name of a sport in Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Okay, so I can jump as a morph ball now. Well, that's useful, I imagine. It means I don't have to uh, bomb jump so precisely from now on. Uh, jump. 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 Wow, that is quite high. Okay, I can see how this can be useful because it makes certain things easier. I don't know. Oh. Please don't die. If I died now, I would hate myself forever. Come on. Give me health. I don't need missiles. I need health. Okay, so I got another energy tank filled. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. There we go. A little bit more health. I'm going to uh, probably refill my health real quick so I don't die. I'll be right back. Alright, that should do to get me back to a save point so I can end this episode. Yeah, uh... I'm going to go back to shorter episodes again because they're easier to make. Not so much editing, which is the part that I hate most about doing this. And I just looked, and fortunately the recording has not stopped. So, yeah. I should have checked that sooner after all of that stuff that I had to go through. But, uh, I didn't. But it didn't stop, so that's good. Back to a save point, so I never, ever have to do any of that again. Also, really, there's nothing else I can do down here, so I'm gonna have to find out where I'm going to go next time. I'll just check the places I've been, I guess. Let's see. What's up here? This isn't really a faster way to get to a save point. But I can take a look in a book. Or not. Though I have been reading books more lately. I don't know why. Alright, jump. Avoid that guy 
That was close. Okay. So, just a little bit further to the save point. And then... No idea where next time, because the spring ball, well, I can see it could be useful. It's not going to help me get anywhere else down here, so... I guess I'm back to being lost. Where... where... where to go? Maybe it'll help me get some of those power-ups in, uh, Criteria that are suspended above the, uh, water outside the crashed ship. That would be my guess for the next place to go. Other than that, I'm not really sure. I guess I'll see you then when I figure it out. Hopefully, now that I've gone back to the shorter episodes too, I'll be doing at least two a week again. That's my goal anyway. I'm KDH of Avalon. Have a nice day.